This video walkthrough will show you how to uh, assign attributes to a particular product in your product catalogue. If you watched the last video, you would have learned how to set up an attribute group and to create the attribute within that group. Uh, at the end of the last video, we left off uh, with what you see in front of us here, which is the attributes that were created and assigned to the technical specifications attribute group. What we're now going to do is learn how to assign these attributes to a product. Now, as um, we said in the last video, attributes are really just informational only. They can be used for product comparison, but uh, cannot be used uh, in terms of a customer differentiating between products to buy. Um, that will be set up through the options menu. In order to uh, assign an attribute to a product, we'll need to go into the product catalog. So go into catalog and then into products. What we're going to do is add some specifications to the MacBook product that we've got on the demo site. So you'll see under our product list, here's the MacBook here. So we're going to click the edit button on the right hand side. So when you go into edit, you'll just be taken into your normal uh, product uh, screen. This is what you would see when you add a new product. What we're going to focus on is the attribute tab. If we click on attributes, you'll see here there's no information assigned to it as yet, as no attributes have been set up. In order to add an attribute to this product, uh, it's fairly um, easy, just click on the add attribute button. And now you just need to type, start typing the name of the attribute that you wish to add. And you'll see a little drop down menu pop up. You can just select from there. So once you've chosen the attribute, you've got a free text field that you can actually type in. So you'll see clock speed, and here's the speed of the processor. Add another attribute. A number of cores was another one that we'd set up, so we'll start typing that in. There we go. And this being a dual core machine, the answer is two. So that's all you need to do for that one. We'll keep working our way down. I think we also had um, memory as an option. And last but not least, we had hard drive. So once you've gone through, set up all of the attributes that you wished and entered in the text, uh, the relevant text for those attributes, you'll click the Save button up in the top right hand corner. That's all you need to do to create that, the attributes. Let's have a quick look at uh, those attributes on that product now. We'll flip back over the demo store and just refresh this product that we've edited. You'll see there's a new tab that's now popped up next to description which says specification. If we click on that, look, there's our technical specifications. So technical specifications was the attribute group that we set up. And underneath that group, we had clock speed, hard drive, memory, and the number of cores. And here's the information that we entered for those. So that is how you assign an attribute to a product.